Welcome to another episode of Your Friend and My Friend. Today we're going to look at the sometimes confusing, sometimes simple, but always be a latching relay. We're going to start off by looking at it in its simplest form. In the example, we're going to need a single pull double throw relay. All relays need power. In this example, we're going to need a stop button. This button will be a normally closed switch. Also, we're going to need a start button, which will be a normally open switch. And of course, we'll need to wire it up. Continuing on, we have the positive leg from the power supply running through the normally closed switch, aka our MOFO stop switch, and it's landing on the common of the relay. We also have that positive leg running to one side of the normally open switch, aka the start button. On the other side of the start button, we have a wire running to the what we'll call the positive side of the coil. In addition to that, we have a wire running from the normally open side of the relay to the positive side of the coil. When we apply power to this setup, we can see where the electricity is waiting, where the potential is waiting. It's constantly anticipating, longing to go, like a senior in high school on the last day of school, waiting. When we press the start button, and I'm going to break this next part down a little slow. When we press that start button, the electricity energizes the coil. When the coil is energized, the relay changes state. In reality, that entire process happens really fast. It would normally be instantaneous. When that start button is pressed, the coil energizes and the relay changes state like bam. So this is where the magic happens. When we release the start button, since the coil is energized, the relay will stay locked in this state until it loses power. This is the latching relay. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. This is BA. This is what BA looks like. This is very powerful. A great many people before us have dreamed of having this much power. Many a great people have worked countless hours to create and invent this magnificent setup. The relay will stay like this until the normally closed switch, aka the stop button, is pressed. When the stop button is pressed, it sets everything back to normal. Moving on to a real world example. I apologize for the crude setup, but we have all the components we need to wire up our latching relay. I'm using a triple pull, triple throw ice cube relay. And I don't mean to make this wiring setup confusing, but I'm using one part of the relay for a visual representation of what's going on. I've got five volts DC from my Arduino powering up uh, the LEDs. Like I said, I don't mean to make this confusing. I just wanted to show what side of the relay the power is going through, whether that be that the relay is energized or not. I wanted it visually represented by the LEDs. On the rest of the relay, we have 24 volts DC coming in from a power supply. Our negative is landed on the quote-unquote negative side of the coil. Our positive is landed on the common. From there, I've got this yellow wire running over to one side of our normally open start switch. On the other side of the start switch, we have this blue wire coming to the positive side of the coil. We also have a white wire running from the normally open side of the relay to the positive leg of the coil. When we press the start button, the relay changes state. When we release the start button, the relay is latched and it will stay that way in its energized state until we press the stop button. There are a couple different ways to skin this cat and this is just one of the ways I wanted to share. I hope this video helps. If this video did help, don't forget to like it. I'm really, really horrible about responding to comments, but feel free to leave one. Thank you for watching and have a good one.